Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on the day of Thursday, November the twenty third, twenty twenty three. And the amount of threes that are in this date. Be rest assured that mind, body, spirit, or changes are meant to come, because the number three is spirit and man. And body and mind, everything coming together. Think of it that way. Always the number three is the number of the pyramid of completion, of balance, of knowledge. Everything flowing and flowing without effort. Now, this day that might not seem very true to your tangible reality or to the moment. There might be more problems than solutions right now. That's exactly why the divine ones come forward in in the way and in you can say the method or the message that they choose to give. I am but an emissary of the light, but when I see some of these messages, sometimes my uh, pulse rate, you know, raises itself or rises, you can say, or gets faster because I get so excited to see what we can all share together. So what the divine ones really want you to do this day is again receive love and answers in the most unconditional form of the divine voice. You can say, literally, this is the archangel in charge of the voice and of expression, and that is Archangel Gabriel. And Archangel Gabriel comes forward in a very unusual manner. If you see the image, you might say that that just looks like an Angel blowing a horn. So what? <laughs> what does that have to do? Archangel um, Gabriel is usually supposed to be very exciting and carrying copper energy and sparkling. And here it is that she seems to be in the night and seems to be just blowing a horn. And is so dull looking. She's not dull. If you see her gown carefully and take a moment to do that for yourself. No clairvoyant exercise here. Just your thought and perception of what you think the image is saying. Now, what color did you see first of all? Did you see white? Did you see pink? Did you see blue? Did you see green? What did you see? And you might say, but there's only one color sitting there on the painting, so obviously I'll only see that color. It's not that. It's an inner voice. You can say. That is sparkling with another color for you. That is why the message is saying, "Ask for what you want." It's for what you want. It's not saying what Archangel Gabriel wants or what the divine ones presume you want, but what is it that your heart really wants? And that will show up as that color flowing all over her. What does that mean? That your prayer has already been acknowledged. That it's already in movement. But you say that I've not even asked for it yet. That's exactly why you're blowing that horn. That horn is your golden horn of communication, and you can literally ask that at this time now. Golden horn of communication, help me achieve and receive the answer to my concern, my prayer of. Now, for those who are more formal, of course, you will say that we're just doing this through an angelic force. But we're not acknowledging any Lord or Master, and we're not sitting in a ritual, and we're not sitting in a proper prayer. Isn't that incorrect? Aren't we going against religious order? The horn of plenty follows the universal laws. This horn of plenty will take your message to the akashic spaces, the akashic records that always hold all the laws of the universe. What will happen is you will then be directed. As to what is the next best step for you forward, with formal prayer, with ritual, with invocation, with chanting, with meditation, whatever form of prayer you then choose to engage with, because there are so many houses below her, right? That is each one of your prayers then being set up. And receiving divine guidance, divine protection, the canopy of care, guidance, all of that. They're covered, right, with snow and rooftops that, that are absolutely stable, just peacefully sitting there. You are walking through that 
roadway. You can say that's the roadway of your soul. And then in the middle is a fountain, the fountain of life, literally brimming forth with the waters of life. Again, sitting there in the Akashic spaces and that beautiful sky, though it seems dark, it's clearing away. It's doing a dual job, you can say, clearing away all your concerns because then the full moon is coming, clearing away all your concerns, all the illusions, all the problems that you hold. Just keep on looking into that sky. I now release, I now surrender, I now let go of. And that moon will become brighter and brighter for you. At first, it might seem very dull. And when you're sitting in the daytime and watching this, again, it might seem like, what does it have to do with my daytime? It's not the daytime as you in your physical reality. It's the daytime of your whole self. Everything is changing, inner, outer, past, present, future, all of it. That's why you're asking for what you want right now. And it's been given to you in this form. Now you might say, what is that strange structure that all these houses are now sitting, basically having one kind of structure, right? But what is that? That seems like a pillar that is standing up. That is you rising, receiving, igniting, activating. And this is your divine helping team. So all those houses are protected, right, by that. There's fire, you can say literally, divine fire coming out and protecting all of this neighborhood. You can think of it as a religious place that you go to. A temple, a church, whatever it is that you believe in. It's watching over you. Your divine family is watching over you. And you are becoming that tall and activated person. So you see the very simple words for you. No great incantation, no great meditation, no position to sit in, no ritual, no form of Reiki. <laughs> but those who know Reiki, of course, send the Reiki flow into all of this neighborhood. Whatever form of energy you want to flood this with, pure love even, just think of it that way. One word, I want to fill all of these houses with faith, with power, whatever. Archangel Gabriel, help me fill. What are you doing? You can presume that each house represents one realm of your life. So health, finances, family, home, travel, career, you can just go on and on. And whatever comes in your mind, trust that this day and your heart, trust that this day and surrender it to these homes to be resurrected and changed and cleansed and brought forward. A unique form of manifestation now comes to you. This horn, you'll love to blow it, right? Use music if you want to and even see meditations on YouTube related to Archangel Gabriel that resonate with you or see a picture of her and just speak to her. But you can just speak to this Archangel right here. Though she's not facing you, that's okay. Just even touch. Touch the top of her crown and say, I just want to feel that you're there with me. Give me a sign that you're there with me. Maybe immediately your eyes go or your feeling directs you to some portion of this image, then you'll say, why am I seeing that? Ask why you're seeing that. There's a message behind that. Another card reading for you, a unique card reading just for you. And then you'll want to go forward, right? Oh, I'm so excited with all this information. I don't just want to sit on it. That's why the water of life is sitting there for you. Help me now move forward, Archangel Gabriel with the flow of this water is not just for clearing it's for creation inspiration movement just be spontaneous that's the one thing the divine forces want for you this day 
not to hold back, not to fear and not to say, I tried it earlier, but it failed. Why not try it again? This time it might succeed. Give yourself the chance to succeed. And that's why she's just looking ahead. She's blowing this horn out into the universe. She's not listening to the sound of the world or fears. Do you see any darkness or any need for protection around here? No, she's just looking straight ahead. It's all clear and clean, fluid and moving. So that's exactly what the Divine Ones want for you. And just choose each one of these statements for yourself as to how they apply to you, what time of day, what form you want to apply them in your life. It's again unique to you. When, to who, what situation, what place. Don't get so caught up. The details will keep on taking care of themselves. You just flow. As much as you flow, you'll be amazed at how much you can bring forward this day, how much you can create, and what innovation you can do for yourself. You'll be shocked at how creative you can be. That's how much you carry within you. You've not even begun to tap your potential. Tap into that this day. Ask for what you want. I want to know myself better. Maybe that's just so that you say, isn't that just selfish, just asking for myself and not asking for change in the world or not asking about my family? How can you affect the world positively, even with prayer, when you're hurting inside, when you're half asleep, when your body is sick, when your mind is troubled? You will not be able to think of anything. So yes, ask for yourself first of all. Then ask for a chance to be of service. Maybe there's some form of charity or some form of psychic development or spirituality that you want to get into or you want to be a better member of your community or society or home. Fine, ask for that. You will keep on setting yourself free. So clear, that means, that is exactly what this means. Clear communication with yourself. Don't hold back. Write down if you need to and just burn that away. Again, you're releasing it back to spirit, to to the universe, to the divine ones, to the heavenly forces. At least you've clearly communicated. You did not hold words back or expression. No one is watching this and no one is judging this. It's only between you and the Divine Ones. So go ahead and write down whatever. Even your fears, your bitterness, you're angry with the Divine Ones, you're angry with your spirit guides, you're even angry with the angels. You don't think your prayers come come along, that they're never manifested, that I just keep trying and being so good and wonderful, but nothing happens for me. Go ahead, complain. But at least complain honestly. So go ahead. You have some problem with a friend, with a family member, you're angry, you're resentful, all of that. Again, it does not mean that you're a bad person, but at least you're an honest person and are willing to see those flaws within yourself and are wanting to clear them. That's why these houses are there. None of them are broken. None of them are black. It means you've done your work or are willing to do your work and you will get that house of stability within yourself and in the situation between you and the other person for the highest and best and good of all. But somebody made the effort. That's why this neighborhood came around. This time it's you. This is your literally neighborhood of happiness. All the realms of your house. House, all the realms of your houses, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to hold back. Yes, the houses of your soul, the various parts of your soul. Let's just laugh together, even that, be silly on purpose. So the various realms of your life, long term, short term, near future, within this day, questions you still have, ask, ask for all of that. Asking just means that the word ask is got so many, you can say, sub layers under it. So think of it as a, 
as a big pizza that you're eating and various parts of this pizza and you're asking for what you want and the pizza is creating itself and this neighborhood is coming forward. Clear communication with yourself, with God, however you define God or you want to know even how to define God, you're confused about that even. Your spirituality, you're just so lost that you feel you're not spiritual enough. Ask to be more spiritual, to find a connection maybe just to your guardian angel, to feel that love around you, that I'm unconditionally loved even just the way I am, flawed and whatever. Even if you do it today, it doesn't mean that if you didn't do it for 40 years, you didn't do it for Maybe even longer than that. Maybe 70 years. Maybe you've never done it. You never thought even God existed and you've just been so embittered. You've just gone against everything. That's okay. You chose today. You chose to ask. And your guardian angel, and archangel Gabriel, will say, Come forward, divine one. We're here. And ask for a sign. That I'm so lost, I don't even know what the divine presence even feels like. What is it supposed to feel like? First of all, it will not be bitter or angry or negative or difficult to understand. Totally filled with love and compassion. And you will want to then share that with others. That's how you know something has switched on. A gateway is open in my heart and my mind feels different, lighthearted. Trouble free. That's a that's one easy sign to recognize and to know. So start with this clear communication with yourself first, then with God, or how to define God and understand the heavenly presence and your spiritual team. Then, of course, with others all around you, your friends, your family, your immediate environment. This very day, all the people that you come across, smile, ask, communicate. Just be present. Isn't that wonderful? And don't think so much about what you have to say. Just say it. Of course, not being rude or hurtful. Asking Archangel Gabriel to guide your words. Yes, it's very hard for me to not use bad words or to get into arguments. Please help me with that. That can be your challenge. Go ahead and acknowledge that today. Because see the wonderful words ahead of that. It helps you avoid misunderstandings. Asking for what you want through Archangel Gabriel. What else do you want, right? It's like, (sighs) take a deep breath right now. Just relax knowing that your golden horn of communication, wow, it's open. What not you can do with this? How much you can clear up? Even through the internet, you might say, well, I don't have the capacity to verbally communicate right now. I have a sore throat or I'm not physically present in front of this person, whoever it is. Email or just send through a prayer. Sit in the Akashic spaces and let them feel that you've thought about them. Something will change just by your asking and trying. It will not just stay stagnant because you asked. So it helps you avoid misunderstandings. And of course, your asking ensures that movement occurs even more rapidly than before. Because the universe will anyways change and want to send everybody towards happiness. But when someone deliberately asks, you can say, or consciously asks, then it's like the whole angelic forces are speeded speeded up, you can say, like a speeding car. And they have to have to deliver happiness to wherever it is asked for. And you asked, remember, that's the fundamental rule of the angelic forces. You have to ask. That's why ask for what you want is even written that way. Don't forget to ask for her to come forward because all this beautiful movement and power cannot come without your asking. You still have the power to ask and are given the permission 
to do so. So give her the permission then to help you. What will it do? It will speed up the process of answered prayers. There's not much more to understand, right? There's just so much movement going all going on already. So let's not just flood this with information overload, you can say. Just enjoy this in your own capacity to understand and receive and use. And of course, simple, simple request from the universe in all forms. Ask for what you want. So go ahead and choose that for yourself this day. This is the gift you're given and have fun with it. And this comes to you so beautifully from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And Dorian can be reached at capital A, oh, sorry, E, capital E, A, R, T, H, A, N, G, E, L, S, dot com. And the superb artwork is by Nick C. Welch. And there was no acknowledgement of Nick's website in the guidebook maybe i have misread that if someone knows about how he can be contacted do inform me i always stand to learn and of course ask for what you want even if i can be of service and help you in some way ever ready to help you can put it in the comments section whatever you think and we learn from each other we go forward have a superb day ahead this is tina signing off for now